Welcome to Canada and the world. The content of the briefing includes. Canada's dramatic summer weather has altered the fall colors this year, researchers say. Trey Ford showed why he's one of CFL's most exciting players in Elks loss to Argos. Your audience isn't all white with blue eyes, how the world's most famous children's group grew up. Housing costs, inflation blamed for soaring use of Toronto Food Bank over the past four years. Philippe will be no Lee, but accumulating weather damage makes Nova Scotia vulnerable. Canada's dramatic summer weather has altered the fall colors this year, researchers say. The Globe and Mail. The dramatic summer weather in Canada, which included wildfires and heavy rain, has affected the colors of the autumn foliage. In Nova Scotia, where the summer was marked by forest fires and overcast and stormy days, the trees are displaying dull brown leaves instead of the usual vibrant reds and oranges. In contrast, trees in Ontario have begun showing their natural pigments earlier than usual, possibly due to the smoke from wildfires in the area. However, researchers believe that ongoing climate change will disrupt the normal leaf coloration in the coming years. Trey Ford showed why he's one of CFL's most exciting players in Elks loss to Argos. The Toronto Star. Trey Ford, the quarterback for the Edmonton Elks in the Canadian Football League, CFL, wowed fans with an incredible touchdown pass during a game against the Toronto Argonauts. Despite being heavily pressured by three pass rushers, Ford managed to elude tackles and launch a 16-yard touchdown pass. The play has been compared to those made by NFL quarterback Patrick Mahomes. Ford's performance has helped revive the struggling Elks team, but he acknowledges that he still has room to grow as an elite quarterback in the CFL. Your audience isn't all white with blue eyes, how the world's most famous children's group grew up. The Toronto Star. The Wiggles, an Australian children's entertainment group, has doubled in size. The addition of four women reflects the audience's diversity, said founder Anthony Field. He decided to expand the group after a conversation with a friend, actor James Harkness. You've got to reflect the audience. Your audience isn't all white with blue eyes. If they can't see it, they can't be it, Harkness told Field. Despite critics labeling the show as too woke, Field has noticed a change in the audience's diversity. Housing costs, inflation blamed for soaring use of Toronto Food Bank over the past four years. The Toronto Star. The Daily Bread Food Bank in Etobicoke. Canada, saw its use increase from 65,000 client visits per month in August 2019 to 275,000 per month as of October 2019. The CEO of the food bank, Neil Hetherington, stated that the main drivers of increased food bank use are inflation, increased levels of precarious employment, rising rental costs, and the impact of interest rates on borrowing costs. Hetherington called for all levels of government to address systemic issues such as affordable housing and precarious work to tackle food insecurity. Philippe will be no Lee, but accumulating weather damage makes Nova Scotia vulnerable. The Toronto Star. Repeated weather disasters in southern Nova Scotia are leaving the region more vulnerable to storms, according to a Halifax area councillor. The region has experienced forest fires, historic flooding, and severe thunderstorms this year, and the damage from these disasters is accumulating. The councillor noted that the trees and limbs are vulnerable, people are vulnerable, and the accumulated effect of these disasters is making the region more susceptible to storms, even those that aren't much stronger than a regular autumn squall. Five takeaways from Blue Jays' GM Ross Atkins' end-of-season press conference. The Toronto Star. Toronto Blue Jays' general manager Ross Atkins discussed the team's disappointing performance in the American League wildcard series and provided some insights into the decision-making process during the games. Atkins stated that the decision to pull starter Jose Barrios in Game 2 was made by manager John Schneider and his coaching staff, and that he was surprised by the move. Atkins also revealed that Schneider will return as manager in 2024, but changes could be made to the coaching staff. The GM expressed the need for the team's offense to improve and said that the Blue Jays have interest in bringing back some of their free agents. Two 14-year-old boys dead following single-vehicle crash in Alberta. The Toronto Star. Two 14-year-old boys have died in a single-vehicle crash in Hinton, Alberta, according to RCMP. The crash occurred on Friday, and there were three youths in the vehicle at the time. One of the 14-year-olds died at the scene, while the other was pronounced dead in the hospital. The age of the third youth and the driver of the vehicle have not been disclosed. The investigation into the crash is ongoing, and the police are not releasing any information about the deceased boys at this time. Volkswagen, Umicor Venture picks Poland for first car battery parts plant. Reuters. Volkswagen's battery parts joint venture with Umicor, called Ionway, has selected Poland as the location for its first factory. 
The joint venture aims to build its annual production capacity to 160 GWh per year, enough for 2.2 million electric vehicles. The Polish government will provide 350 million euros, $371 million, in cash grants for the investment, which is expected to create around 900 jobs. The decision to locate the factory in Poland was based on strategic advantages, skilled labor availability, and access to renewable energy sources. Construction will begin once the permitting process is completed. Need for robust examination of nuclear energy options. The Sydney Morning Herald. September 2021 was the hottest September on record, according to the World Meteorological Organization. The article suggests that nuclear energy should be considered as an option for meeting Australia's energy needs and reducing emissions. While proponents of nuclear energy argue that small modular reactors, SMRs, could be a solution, opponents argue that they are too expensive and not technologically advanced enough. The article concludes that there are still many unanswered questions and uncertainties surrounding the use of nuclear energy. Award-winning English filmmaker dies at 77. The Guardian. Terence Davies, the acclaimed British filmmaker, has died at the age of 77. Davies, known for his semi-autobiographical film Distant Voices, Still Lives, was working on a new project when he fell ill. He was praised for his sensitive approach to real-life drama and his ability to capture small changes in emotion. Davies was also known for his films The House of Mirth, Of Time and the City, and A Quiet Passion. In an interview two weeks ago, he spoke about his directing technique, saying actors should feel rather than act on screen. And that's all the news from the Six Degrees world. From the changing fall colors in Canada to the growth of the Wiggles, there's been a lot happening. But let's dive deeper into these stories, shall we? First, the dramatic summer weather in Canada has had an impact on the colors of the autumn foliage. In Nova Scotia, the trees are displaying dull brown leaves instead of the usual vibrant reds and oranges, likely due to the forest fires and stormy days. On the other hand, trees in Ontario have shown their natural pigments earlier, possibly due to the smoke from wildfires. However, researchers warn that ongoing climate change will disrupt the normal leaf coloration in the coming years. So, enjoy those fall colors while you can. In sports news, Trey Ford, the quarterback for the Edmonton Elks in the CFL, wowed fans with an incredible touchdown pass, evading tackles and launching a 16-yard touchdown pass. He's being compared to NFL quarterback Patrick Mahomes, and his performance has helped revive the struggling Elks team. But Ford knows he still has room to grow as an elite quarterback in the CFL. Keep an eye on this rising star. Speaking of entertainment, The Wiggles, the popular Australian children's group, has doubled in size by adding four women to the group. Founder Anthony Field decided to expand after a conversation with a friend about the need to reflect the diversity of the audience. Despite criticism, Field has noticed a positive change in the audience's diversity. It's important to show children that they can be anything they want to be. On a more serious note, the use of food banks in Toronto has soared over the past four years, driven by factors such as inflation, rising rental costs, and precarious employment. The CEO of a food bank called for government action to address systemic issues like affordable housing and precarious work to tackle food insecurity. It's a reminder that there are still many challenges facing our communities, and we need to work together to find solutions. In Nova Scotia, the repeated weather disasters this year have left the region more vulnerable to storms. Forest fires, flooding, and severe thunderstorms have taken their toll, making the region susceptible to even regular autumn squalls. It's a stark reminder of the impact of climate change and the need to prioritize resilience and preparedness. Switching gears back to sports, the Toronto Blue Jays general manager, Ross Atkins, discussed the team's disappointing performance in the American League wildcard series. He revealed insights into the decision-making process during the games and expressed the need for the team's offense to improve. The Blue Jays have also expressed interest in bringing back some of their free agents. Let's hope they can make some moves and come back stronger next season. In tragic news, two 14-year-old boys have died in a single vehicle crash in Alberta. The investigation is ongoing, and our thoughts go out to their families and friends during this difficult time. It's a reminder of the importance of road safety and the need for caution behind the wheel. On the global stage, Volkswagen's battery parts joint venture with Umicor, Ion Way, has chosen Poland as the location for its first factory. This move is expected to create jobs and contribute to the production of electric vehicles. The decision was based on strategic advantages and access to renewable energy sources. It's another step towards a greener future and the transition to sustainable transportation. 
Shifting our focus to Australia, the hottest September on record has sparked a discussion about the need for a robust examination of nuclear energy as a potential solution to meet energy needs and reduce emissions. While there are arguments for and against nuclear energy, there are still many unanswered questions and uncertainties surrounding its use. It's a complex issue that requires careful consideration and exploration of all options. And finally, the world of film has lost a talented filmmaker, Terence Davies, known for his sensitive approach to real-life drama. His films captured the subtleties of human emotion, and he believed in actors feeling rather than acting on screen. His contributions to cinema will be remembered and cherished. That's all for today's news. Remember, your thoughts and opinions matter too. So, what do you think about these stories? Do you have any questions or ideas you'd like to share? Join the conversation and let us know your thoughts. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6Do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6Do Brief via email.